the bad and the ugly. One of the most important milestones in any real estate transaction is the appraisal. An appraisal is most often performed by a banking institution to make sure that the amount of money they're going to be lending on a home um, or on a mortgage, in other words, um, can be justified by the, the market value of that home. It's basically a matter of risk mitigation to the bank. Um, there's no guarantee that a buyer is actually going to pay a mortgage. Therefore, they need to make sure that the asset covers the amount that they're actually going to be lending. Here comes the problem, however. Lenders do not do the appraisal th themselves. Most contract with some sort of third-party appraisal company and in effect create a firewall, if you will, between the appraisal company and the lending institution. That way there's no back-end dealing going on and the consumer can be comfortable with the end result. That's a good thing. But because it's a third-party company, the lender does not control the process. Sometimes this can, and it often does, create issues with time and value. Unfortunately, because of the pace of the recent market, many local appraisers um, and national appraisers are overbooked and is creating a lag in appraisal times. You know, in order to combat the possibility of an appraisal coming in late, we are advising all of our sellers and our buyer clients to ask for a minimum of a 45-day period to complete and close the transaction. An appraisal that comes in late, the day before closing, or even the day of closing, or sometimes a week or even a month or more later, can have severe financial implications, not to mention a lot of stress involved for all parties. The next, the next issue that can happen and in fact, it does happen, is that appraisal can come in lower than the offer price. With the current market, this has been happening more and more and will continue to happen. With, ex with accepted offers that are oh, 10, 15, even 20% over asking price, it's always a concern for a seller to accept an offer that high without there being some assurances from the home buyer that they're still gonna buy the home even if the appraisal does not come in at the accepted offer price. We are advising all of our sellers to consider accepting offers that have either an appraisal waiver, meaning the buyer is willing to purchase the home regardless of the appraisal price, um, and which results in the buyer having to make up the difference, or we ask buyers who offer an amount that they are willing to pay to ensure that if there is a gap, that the amount of that gap gets mitigated by the amount of money that they could offer. Say, for instance, an additional $3,000 or $5,000 or maybe even more. Buyers, this is important. If you're having trouble getting your offers accepted, consider offering some appraisal gap coverage with your offers. I know you're not gonna like it, but it's almost necessary in today's market. We have done this very successfully with a lot of buyers in the past, and, uh, and we've won a lot of deals this way. The best possible move that you can make, however, to ensure the appraisals are done on time and the value reflects the current local market is to consider using a local lender. Many large internet-based lenders uh, use appraisers and appraisal companies that are not local to our area. They don't take in consideration local market trends and, and they're not familiar with individual neighborhoods. This unfamiliarity leads to appraisals that are often low and out of line with local trends. This causes a lot of stress, lots of money, and sometimes can actually cause a transaction to be canceled altogether. The, the, the national internet lenders also have a problem getting their appraisals done on time. And I've personally had appraisals on transactions come back a week, a month, and even almost 70 days late. And because that there is this third party firewall, if you will, there's no accountability and no one to complain to. Do yourself a favor, find a great local lender that is accountable to you and to this transaction. Your local review after closing will carry a lot of weight on the future success of those lenders. Appraisals are just one part of the process, but we can make sure that it runs smoothly if we take the time to learn some of the lessons along the way. Have a great day and happy home selling.